The ORN universal system with constant flow rate and recycling of sludge for the disposal of all household waste and fresh water is the most recent product from Omnia Resina Mazzotti. This product bears witness to the continuous research and the constant development of a company that has been working in the sector for more than 30 years. This experience and know-how are used to improve the relationship between man and the environment. The system deals with wastewater discharges from urban buildings and uses an activated sludge and total oxidation biological purification processes. These processes remove the organic substances by means of mechanisms that are similar to those that a body of water uses to purify itself. In the ORM universal system, the natural processes are accelerated to give high levels of purification. The principal innovation is the choice of constant flow rate. In order to have high levels of purification, a correct retention time is required. This is achieved by equalizing the sewage flow and distributing it with a constant flow rate into the next chamber, where oxidation takes place. In this way, the settler is never subjected to workload peaks and there is no risk of dragging the biomass to the final chamber. The system comprises a cylindrical tank made of fiberglass, which is divided into four chambers. The accumulation and or equalization phase occurs in the first chamber, where anaerobic digestion takes place. In the second and third chambers, the oxidation and aerobic digestion phases occur. The fourth and final chamber is used for final sedimentation with the recycling of sludge. The first chamber has an underwater pump which is protected by a grill. The pump supplies a special flow divider which sends forward only that quantity of sewage which the dimensions of the system can handle. The rest remains in the accumulation chamber. The pollutant load is purified by the processes that occur in the second and third chambers. During this phase, biological sludge is produced. This comprises bacteria, which are responsible for the purification process and which must be maintained at the correct concentration if perfect purification is to be guaranteed. A small diaphragm pump is used to produce the micro-bubbles needed for aeration and to mix the sludge. The aerated mixture, comprising biological sludge and purified water, moves on to the settler, which is the fourth chamber. The purified water can now be discharged into a body of water and the excess sludge is recycled and returns to the oxidation chamber. The settler is linked to the oxidation chamber by a passage, which is protected by a damper tube. This tube reduces the turbulence of the aerated mixture and accompanies the excess sludge toward the airlift, which is the recycling aspiration point. When the purified sewage leaves the system, it conforms to the parameters indicated in Table A, enclosed with Italian Law No. 319 and with the European Community Directives. The ORM Universal Sludge Recycling System with constant flow rate for more than five standard inhabitants comprises a number of cylindrical fiberglass tanks. This system is used to purify the waste from public buildings or similar structures. The purification process and the choice of constant flow rate used for the smaller tanks are again found here. The basic difference is found in the dimensions of the system. For systems of this size used by businesses, canteens, restaurants, farmhouse holiday centers, the advantages of the constant flow rate to guarantee against workload peaks are even more evident. These peaks can be seen in public buildings in the morning, at lunchtime and at dinner. If we consider, for example, a system designed for a canteen, it is not difficult to see how it must handle high workload peaks at certain moments in the day and then remain inactive for many hours after. 
the constant flow rate regulates the distribution of the load. The size of the chambers is based on the concept of the standard inhabitant. This concept defines the specific load of the inhabitant in both hydraulic and organic terms. To be on the safe side, the size of the disposal system is based on the maximum values encountered. The water supply needed for washing and waste disposal is approximately 200 liters per person per day. The organic load is about 75 grams of biochemical oxygen demand per person per day. The size of the plant is based on these criteria. ORM's 30 years of experience and the company's constant efforts to improve its environmentally friendly product line have led to exceptional results. The choice of fiberglass as the basic material, the purification process, which simulates and amplifies a natural process, and finally, the possibility of discharging waste onto water surfaces in full conformity to the laws in force, bear witness to the fact that these plants are truly avant-garde. A little treasure hidden beneath our feet.